people have been look, using computational social science and studying social media mostly for, to look at political problems or problems of a social nature, but I think the next frontier is really health. So I'm Luis Rocha, a professor at Indiana University in the School of Informatics and Computing, and I work in complex networks and systems. So we try to find what is the commonality between biological networks, social networks, technological networks, the internet, that sort of thing. Previous studies up to this point, whether they were in hospitals or even by sociologists, could only handle 20, 30, 40 patients in a study, whereas with social media, we can plug into millions of people all worldwide on, on very different types of conditions. For instance, if you're interested in depression, we start by looking at hashtags with the drug names. And so we just went to search what was the population basis that is even mentioning these on Instagram and Twitter. And it turned out there were hundreds of thousands of people. So what we looked so far, and we showed that it's doable, um, is to, to find how drugs interact with one another, how people are describing them with clusters of symptoms. After evaluating all these clusters of co-occurrences of drugs and symptoms, we can find many that are already known. What's particularly interesting is what we're trying to validate those that are not known. That's why I think social media as an early warning signal can help. So now what we are working on is, so all the things that were not already in the FDA database as interactions, how many of them are true and how many of them are false. So as you can see from what we've been describing, these tools create large scale visualizations of these networks. And so you can think of this large network that we obtained from depression, but then there's a completely different one for epilepsy. And then there's the one that we obtained from Instagram versus the one we obtained from Twitter and other social media that we look at. One way that would be nice to look at all this data would be in three dimensions because you could have an analyst in this environment uh, looking at the network, clicking on an edge instead of a window but on a side space obtaining the actual posts where this happens and on another side the timeline and looking side by side at the networking from Twitter and the network from Instagram. That is expected to be a game changer.